Hello, we're going to do a core four maths cast now on integration by parts. This is lesson one when we're integrating with no limits. So, what is integration by parts? Well, we just need to know the rule for this. We can use integration by parts when we're integrating something where there's two terms times together. What I mean by this is if we had x cos x dx, I could use integration by parts here because I have two things times together. I have an x times by a cos x. So I have two things times together, so I can use integration by parts. Now the rule we're going to use for integration by parts looks like this. u v minus the integral of v u dash. What we have to do is we have to choose what u and v and v dash and u dash are. So this is not too difficult to do. We have to choose one of the two things to be u. So if you've got that, you can work out u dash by differentiating it. Then you choose the other thing to be v dash, and then you can work out the v going upwards by integrating this. Now this becomes a bit clearer when we do an example. So let's have a go at this question. We're going to integrate x e to the 2x. So as I said, we're going to choose something to be u, and we're going to choose something to be v dash. So I think this time we're going to try u to be x. Because when we do u dash, when we differentiate this, we will get 1. And that's quite nice and simple, so that's a good choice. So the other part of this, the e to the 2x, that's going to be v dash. So I can work out v by going upwards, so I have to integrate. Well, when I integrate e to the 2x, I will get e to the 2x, but you have to do 1 over the differential of the 2x, so it's 1 over 2. So now I have my u, my v, my u dash, and my v dash. I can just put it into the formula. So if we remind you what the formula was for integrating by parts, it's uv minus the integral of v u dash. So let's put the numbers in then. So u times v is x times half e to the x. So this is x times half e to the 2x. Take away the integral of v u dash which is going to be the integral of 1 times half e to the 2x, which is just going to be half e to the 2x dx. So now we just need to simplify it a little bit. So if I simplify this first term here, we'll get x over 2 e to the 2x. Take away. And now I just need to integrate this second bit. Well, when I integrate this, I would get e to the 2x, and we divide by the 2 again, so that will now become 1 over 4. There's one more thing to remember. When I integrate in and there's no limits, so there's no numbers here on your integral signs, then I need to put a plus c at the end. So the answer to my question is x over 2 e to the 2x take away a quarter e to the 2x plus c. So that's a basic example of integration by parts. I want to do another example now with uh, log x in, because it's important, these examples with log x in. So here we are. We're going to integrate x squared log x. Well, as you can see, there's two terms. There's an x squared and there's a log x. So I can use integration by parts. I need to choose one of them to be u, and I need to choose one of them to be v dash. Now, judging by what I said a moment ago, you'd think you choose this x squared to be u, but you can't this time because you have a log x in. When you have a log x, because we don't know how to integrate it yet, we need to let that be the u. So u is log x. So u dash, well, if I differentiate log x, you get 1 over x. So that means v dash is going to be x squared. So v, working upwards, means we integrate. Add 1 to the power, you'll get x cubed. Divide by the power, so it's 1 over 3x cubed. So now we've got our u's and our v's and our u dashes and our v dashes. We can just put these into the integration by parts formula, which, if I remind you, is uv take away the integral of v u dash. So let's put the terms in. So u times v um, times these two things together. You always put the log last here, so it's going to be one third x cubed log x. Take away the integral of 
VU dash, which is going to be one third x cubed times one over x dx. So now we simplify it a bit. So I want to simplify this integral. So the first bit stays the same. One third x cubed log x. Take away the integral. Well, I can cancel out the x at the bottom with one of the x's at the top, which would leave me with two at the top. So I've got one third x squared dx. Now I have to actually do the integral. So this is going to be one third x cubed log x take away. Now if we integrate this, add 1 to the power, we'll get x cubed, and divide by that 3. So the 1 over 3 will now become 1 over 9, because we're dividing by another 3. And again, there's no limits, so we put a plus c at the end. So when we integrate x squared log x, we will get 1 over 3 x cubed log x, take away 1 over 9 x cubed plus c. Okay, we've gone through two simple examples now. So here are some questions for you to practice, and we'll do another Maths Cast Lesson 2 with some slightly harder examples. Good luck.